Hey everyone, Mark Galloway here. Today is Super Bowl day. So for this uh, special video, well, up to you if you think it's special. Well, special cooking video, well, although it's episode two. So today's the Super Bowl. We have the New England Patriots and uh, I think is it the I think it's the Atlanta Falcons or something. Hope the Atlanta Falcons win. Patriots already had their goal about two years ago or three. I don't know. Anyways, for this Super Bowl special, we're going to be making macaroni and cheese, deep fried in mac and cheese, which you also know them as uh, mac and Cheetos, and we're also going to put them in breadcrumbs, which is actually potato chips. In the next episode, we're going to be remaking mac and Cheetos eventually, but today, since it's a Super Bowl, we're doing it the different way. And we're also going to be doing the McDonald's french fries. So anyways, um, the, the problem was that, my thing is that my mom already made the mac and cheese, it's homemade, so the things that I remember her doing is that she boiled some noodles and added some ingredients like pepper, mustard, I don't know, some cheese sauce, I, I, I can't read, I, I didn't see the whole thing. So um, so what we're doing is the finishing product on the mac and cheetos balls, on the mac and cheese deep fried balls, and we're also going to be doing chicken wings and the french fries. So anyways, let's get this cooking episode started. So we have all the, the, the balls of mac and cheese right here that are like homemade. So um, after you make them, it's recommended that you use the, the mac and cheese that you um, get at the supermarket. But if you want it homemade, you can go ahead and do so. So after you make the mac and cheese, you're going to have to want to freeze. You have to put them in the fridge overnight. Or if you want to, you could just uh, put them in the freezer. But just don't take it way too long or else it's going to turn into an, an ice brick. So after it's uh, cold enough, you want to roll them into a balls or any kind of shape you want. And then after that, you put them back into the freezer for about 25 minutes. And it's going to come out in this nice shade of balls or shape or, well, just in like, um, you know, sticky uh, material. We have the, we have the, we have the crunched up potato chips, which you'll use as breadcrumbs. And we also have the, this nice shredded bag of mac and cheese. It, you can either uh, smush them up with a with a roller or you can put them in a blender to put them in a nice shape but both of them will do just fine. So what we're gonna do and we also have this uh, potato uh, washed that we'll use for the french fries later on but what we're gonna do first is that we're gonna put the um, we're gonna put both of the breadcrumbs and the Cheetos into separate bowls and then we're gonna put we're gonna put the um, Back the mac and cheese balls into them and then set them out and then we're gonna have them ready and here we have our deep fryer so what we're gonna do is that you're gonna take some peanut you're gonna you can take any you can put any kind of oil you want but we're gonna take two tubs of peanut oil and set that into the deep fryer uh, the max number it's hard to see but it's right where my finger is so you're gonna these this is peanut oil these pin if you're wondering why that peanut oil is in the container it's because it was used in the past where you can use it to fry um, steak uh, chicken fried steak and such like that it's gonna have all that leftover excess flavor and it's gonna add all the flavor to everything which we'll use for the fries later on thing is though it's not gonna be enough unless if it is it's not it, it might be enough to put up to the max but if it's not just take what you have left uh, I'm gonna put these in the sink for right now because they're dripping a little bit but they're a little bit short of the max line, so we're going to put a little bit more of the peanut oil in there. And there we go. We're going to put them at a heat at exactly around 365 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's going to help cook everything, including the fries. Even the, um, the mac and cheese and the chicken wing. Okay, what I forgot to say from earlier was that like after you do this, you're going to put them back into the freezer for another 25 minutes before frying. But that's okay, because in the meantime, we'll be able to have our french fries all prepared. So what we're going to do, I'm going to fast forward in this video a little bit so I don't have to waste all of your time. So what so what we so what we're going to do is that we're going to take one uh, we're going to take one ball and put them in different flavors. So this one we're going to put all the breadcrumbs in there. Gonna, and then if they're like after they come out of the freezer, they won't have enough a lot of sticking material. So um, when it becomes sticky enough, it'll have everything, so make sure that you are going to get enough good stuff in there and then place it right back onto the right back onto the tray. 
And then for this one, we're gonna put all this uh, macaroni material on there. So you just use your hands, get all that flavor, get all that stuff in there. And then you post, post them right back into the tray. And for one more time, back in normal motion, we're going to use your hand. Just so you just use your hands, get all that stuff in there the best as possible. And then, like, if enough is on there, considering the fact that the best that you're doing, it's still come, it's still, it's still coming out good. And then you just uh, place it right back onto the tray. And the other flavor, we take a ball, and then get all that stuff in there. Oh, I guess just spilled it a little bit. And then you just roll it around in there, and then back onto the tray. Okay, so we have all these balls coated. Uh, the the breadcrumbs are a little hard to make. What you really need to do is that you have to really make them into a powder. It was a little hard to do, but we did the best we could. So we have all the access powder left over in these bags. We're gonna put these into the um, the freezer for another 20 minutes, and then and we're gonna get to getting the fries ready, and we're gonna get developed, and then we'll and then when we're ready, we'll have all the stuff deep frying. Okay, so we have our potato here all cleaned up, and don't worry, I am going to get a cutting board in a sec. So what you're going to do first, as everyone does, is that, it, or if you wanted to keep it in the, you know, skin for any reasons, go in and do so. But, but for this one, we're going to uh, peel off the skin first, and then we're going to get to cutting. But here's how I'm going to peel the skin. And there we go. We have our potato skinned up. So now what you're going to do is that, what we're going to do right now is that we're going to be cutting this potato eighth of an inch. So um, we're, you can leave both edges on the, um, on the side. So what we're going to do right here is that we're going to be cutting them eighth of an inch right here. You're going to go one by one. Try not to go too big and try not to make them too thin. Because they're, it, although they, oh, because not only are they going to fry that fast, it's just not going to come out very, very good. So cut them at around... At a can't get them to carry. Getting hold on, let me fix the lenses. Okay, so you want to uh, get it as thin like this, and um, if you make them too big, that's okay. You just uh, try to cut them uh, piece by piece. You just go like that, and then you got cut one piece off at a time. So what we're doing here is that we're putting them eighth of an inch. Just do it the best you can with a knife, and then when it starts to not, you know, stand up out of side very good as it was. Um, what we're actually going to do with this piece is that we're going to cut a little bit of this off because it's a little bit thin, but, uh, but we're going to keep a little, with some excess of it. So then, now you're going to turn, keep turning it constantly over, go like that, and then you just start, and then you just keep cutting. And if it comes a little bit big like that, that's alright, it'll still come out good, you just cut one by one, you just cut a little, little bit of small pieces at a time. And if you want to uh, pick up some paste a little bit, since there's too many uh, layers, oh, and there I see when it becomes when it comes out that big, that's okay. You can just uh, just do a little bit of piece like that, piece like this, uh, like this at a time, and it'll still come out good. You can you can still use an access uh, fry like this if you want to. So, but the main point of the Super Bowl, we're doing a lot. So this is as if you're preparing for a party. that and that so now we're gonna get to stacking them and cutting them piece by piece to make a fry and I'm going to fix the camera angle we'll I'll be back in a sec so we have all the starters right here so we're gonna do a little bit of these corners so what you're what you're gonna do is that you're gonna cut them like this inch by inch and you have a perfectly executed french fry but if you don't want them too big just cut want just cut it in half but it's up to you. If you want to cut it in half, go ahead and do so. It, it makes it a little bit easier to share, but if you want to, just change any size you want. 
and we have all and we have this one executed so just keep doing it for these ones and I'm gonna show you real quick what to do with the bigger sides and I have to adjust this one a little bit but that's right just cut it a little bit at a time and then just adjust it which I'll which I will show you after I get all this done so right here what we have is that we have all these uh, fries that were on that side that were already big that were cut before it's gonna come out a little bit uh, bigger like that but what you're gonna do which is gonna help it is that you're gonna adjust it like after you cut it from this after you cut them all separate you're going to do the same thing and then just break them all apart turning it into McDonald's french fry just like this and I know you're probably asking that 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 cutting board is too small you can make the pace you can make, pick up the pace by getting a bigger cutting board but I'm fine do well maybe you guys are right so what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna get a bigger cutting board we're gonna put this away well, in the dishwasher, and then we're going to continue on. Okay, so now we have a bigger cutting board. So here's uh, something that you that might make it a, a lot of things easier. And so if you don't want to do it separately at a time, what you what you can do is that you take you, you take both pieces apart, and then you just keep then you just make sure they're flat all together, and then you just uh, make sure you're one eighth of an inch right here like this. You cut it, and it's all going to come out together into two pieces. Just like that. Simple as that. Okay, so we have all the french fries cooked. So I didn't see how much you should add, but I... So what you're going to do now is that you're going to add some water to it. And then you're going to add your caro syrup and we're going to let this refrigerate for a half hour. So... What you're gonna do is that you're gonna. What you can do is that if you feel like, um, if you add a little bit too much water, but or I don't know. But what you can do after that is that you can just mix it around like this for a little bit, and then you just put it into a fridge. So I'm gonna add a little, just a tiny bit more. I think that's good. Mix it around, and then we let it marinate. All right. So it's been over 20 minutes we have the balls ready so we're gonna fry them and then after this we're gonna get to the fries and then we're gonna get to the chicken okay so we have our uh, deep fryer cooking at uh, 375 degrees and it's ready so um, they might end up falling apart so what we're gonna do we're gonna put one each into the deep fryer pan and we're gonna let it cook until for about I forgot time limit. Well, what you can do is that you are gonna cook it until it's neither like golden or if it looks fried enough. So we're gonna take it after about one minute each, and then we're gonna take them out and take a look. So here goes our first batch. Okay, so it's been about a minute so far. So like, oh, I don't know if it's been a minute. It's been like about 45 seconds now. So. What I'm going to say real quick is that like after it's done, take a paper plate or and put it on like something like a cage or some I don't know. Take, you just put them on a paper towel and then you're just going to let them soak right there. And then after that, we're going to put in our next batch. So let's take a look at how these came out. Ooh, they look golden. All right. So um, what we're going to do now is that we're going to put them put them right on that paper towel right there. We're going to let it cool, and then. So like, if you don't want to, oh, all right, I'm gonna take all. I'm gonna be careful right here. There's oil dripping in. I'm gonna take all this stuff, place it in. Oh, all right. Um, if it looks a little bit squishy, just put it in there for a little bit longer until it's like a bit good crisp. I kind of messed up there. Okay, so I took them out again. They look a little bit more golden brown. And they're still a little bit squishy, but if you do want them a lot more harder than that, you can go ahead and keep them in for a long, for a little bit longer. So the cooking time of it now is should be around two, three minutes. So uh, we're gonna put these into the onto the paper towel, and we're gonna put our next batch in there. Maybe keep them in a little longer, and then see how they came out. And then after that, we're gonna finish the batch, and then we're gonna get to our fries. Okay, so here's the message. Um, I messed up right here a little bit. So yeah. So when they're squishy. Uh, Keep them in there a little longer because right now these ones are falling apart. So be careful when you take them out. So what you're, what we're gonna do for this batch, we're gonna keep them in there for a little, little bit longer as possible for about four minutes, and then we're gonna wait till they're exactly a good golden brown, 
and then we'll take them out. So here goes batch two. So right here we now have our mac and cheese balls. So this is our second batch. So now you want to make sure that there are these ones are darker. So these ones should be a lot more fried than the other ones I made. So um, let's get to our last batch and then we'll get to our fries. So while our uh, third and final batch is cooking, let's try one of them. So I don't know if this is the, I think this is one is the Cheetos. Let's give one a try. Mm. It's delicious. Okay, so now it's been five minutes. Let's take a look. Absolutely perfect. Let's get a zoom in on this. Now, if you see right here, you can see, well, if, it, if you're focused, you can see that they're a perfect dark brown color. So, if, if they're a light brown color, keep them in there for a little bit. Don't do like what I did by mistake. Just keep them in there for about five minutes at a 375 degree temperature Fahrenheit. Let them cook for about five minutes, and then when they're exactly this color, that means they're perfectly ready to eat. So, now let's get to our fries. Okay, so our fries are now marinated, so what you're going to do is that we're going to take little bits at a time, put them into this tray, and then after they're done, we're going to put them on the, we're going to put them on the tray, and then after you're done, we're going to put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to finish it off, so what you're going to do is that you're going to put them in for at least 90 seconds, or if they're, or if they turn into this light golden color. Don't put too much. I'll be right back. Okay, so there was another mistake I made. So what you should do first after they're marinated is that like if they start to spit after you um, marinate them in corn syrup and water, it's gonna um, spit all over the place because water and uh, oil have like um, have like a split jump up reaction or something after you combine them both. So what you what you can do first is that in case if you make a mistake like that, like I just did, just drain out the corn syrup and water and don't worry, it's not gonna affect the fries. It's just gonna it's gonna stay on there. So we're gonna put in another little batch like that, like this, and then after this, just put in, just put it onto the pan, and then after that, we're going to put it into the freezer for about 15 minutes. Okay, so now we have our uh, fries in the oven. Uh, did I say fries? No, I meant fries in the freezer. My bad. So we're gonna let them sit there for 15 minutes. So now we're gonna get started on our chicken wings. So what you're gonna do first is that you're gonna put some flour into the bowl along with some salt and pepper so we're gonna add in here just enough for all of our wings to get in there and we're gonna sit them onto another tray so they can sit on there and then after we have our fries out of the oven we're gonna put out of the freezer we're gonna put our chicken wings in there so right we have our flour in there so now we're gonna put in some salt and pepper this is some salt I'm adding right here in my left hand and this is pepper that I'm having on my right hand. So we're also going to put in there just plenty like that. And we're going to take our mixer, blend that all in. So now we're going to add in the, this is the chicken wings and this is the chicken wing in, wingettes. So none right here are boneless, which I like boneless, but you know, chicken wings with bones are just fine. So then after this, and ap so after our fries are done and after we take these out of the freezer for after 20 minutes, you, we're gonna cook them, wait till they're a gold, perfect golden color. And then we're gonna put them, we're gonna put them into some bowls and then stuff half and half with buffalo wing sauce and barbecue sauce. So now here we go with the chicken wings. So we're gonna take some piece by piece. You do so if there's fat on there, you do not necessarily need to cut it off. So we're gonna put that in there. You are gonna blend all that flour in there. And then we're gonna make sure it's perfectly coated. And then, ooh, a little movement. All right, and then we're going to put it onto the tray, have them all set up, ready to freeze.
Okay, so now we have all of our fries right here. I believe they said like do little bits at a time, which is really recommended, but we have all the fries right here. So we're gonna put the remainder of them right in here. I, turn, I had to turn off the oil for a little bit because it was getting too hot. I w wasn't sure what I was supposed to do, but it's working just fine right now. So we're gonna let these get really golden brown and then we're gonna put them, we're gonna put them back into the, we're gonna let it drain for a little bit after, after I rise up the pan. And then we're going to put it into a bowl, put some salt and beef glue on it, and then they're ready to serve. These are looking so good right now. We're have, we have them at a good color, good golden color. Okay, so we're going to let the oil drain off of them for a little bit. We're going to put them into this bowl. All right. let's, let's see if we can. All right, well, I'm going to let the oil drain access come off. Put them in there. I gotta get the rest off. It's a little stuck. It's stuck, stuck, get off. There we go. So now we're gonna sprinkle the beef bouillon in there. Sprinkle it all around in there. Yeah, I might have added a little too much right there. Let's just get the camera over here. We're gonna add the salt. Now we're gonna mix that all over. Alright, let's try one of the fries and see how they came out. They're a little hot right now. I'm gonna check one that's really okay. Mmm. Absolutely good. Alright, so now we're gonna get to the rest of the wings. And then um, we're gonna put them into the fryer, and then we're gonna try, and then we're gonna put them into the sauce, try one of each, and then that's it. Okay, so we have our chicken, uh, in, we had our chicken in the freezer after 20 minutes, so we're gonna take a couple pieces each. We're gonna take this, we're gonna take, um, we're gonna take that, and we're gonna put, we're just gonna put a couple on there until they fill up all the way. All right, we're gonna put one more, and right, there and we're gonna set them for about 10 minutes I think I can uh, fit one right there in between if I could just move that and we're gonna put this one right here so we're gonna set this on for 10 minutes after I put them in here all right so we have them set for 10 minutes so I'll keep you updated after it's all done so at, and on, just after they're all done we're gonna check and make sure they're 165 degrees and then we're gonna put, he just keep putting more in there and then we're gonna get to the sauce. So we're five minutes left on the clock and looking at these wings right now, they're coming out so good. So they're a light golden brown right now. So we're going to see how they come out in about five more minutes. And then after that, we're going to see how hot they are. Okay, so now it's been another five minutes later. Let's see how they came out. They came out a perfectly good color, but let's see how they came out. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right in the first place. Measuring 120. It's still rising up slowly though. 140. It's now going up to 150. up to 160 and you're probably gonna be hearing some ads in the background as you're listening it's up to 160 just a little bit more and it's up and it should be around 165 right around now so yep um, all right let's just put these in a little bit just a little bit more Okay, so now we're gonna let um, these um, drain right here on this rack, right here. So um, we do have plenty more chickens right here, but we're gonna we're gonna put another later in there. So and then after that, we're going to put one batch into barbecue sauce and one batch into the 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 chicken wing sauce. I for buffalo sauce. My bad. All right, so it's just. Letting the access oil drain off. Have to move this remote. 
All right, so now we have that. Now let's put in our second batch. Oh, um, I just about barely touched it. I don't think there will be enough room. Well, I'm gonna try. Here's a little one. Um, okay, yep, that's just about the best I'm gonna do, so let's put that in. I'm gonna set the timer up for 10 minutes, and here we go. That one's sticking up a little bit. Okay, so while these chicken wings are still warm and the other ones are still cooking, they have about five minutes left, so we're gonna first start with this one. So what you're gonna do is that we're gonna what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take some honey barbecue sauce and we're gonna sprinkle it along just like this. And then after that, we're just gonna stir them together. It's a little hard to do, but don't worry, they're gonna get together and We'll be done. Alright, let's try one out. Mm. It's a little smoky. Not really hot. But it's delicious. Alright, now let's get to the one. After these are ones are done, let's get we'll get to the one with uh, the buffalo wing sauce. Okay, so now what we're gonna do with this one is that we're gonna add our buffalo wing sauce. So after I do this one, we're gonna go through all the wings and then and then have our little setup ready for the closing out. So but here what we're gonna do first, as I did earlier, we're gonna sprinkle like this. That should be enough. We're gonna take our spoon and we're going to mix it around and I lost it. Uh, where did I put the spoon? <laughs> Found it. It was actually in that bowl the whole time. Anyways, now let's get to mixing. Mixing around. Okay, so now we have all of our Buffalo wing set, and yes, I changed my shirt while after I was doing well after I cut away. So now I also just want to say, like the Carolina the Carolina trip vlog is postponed because of family emergencies that were occurring over there. But I'm gonna to try to get back there around March, or unless things come around. And I'm also gonna be doing the Las Vegas vlog. But the next video after this one will be the Mac and Cheetos video. Even though I might have did part of it a little bit in this vlog. So anyways, let's now try a buffalo wing. Well, it is a buffalo wing, but the one with uh, wing sauce. Mm. Sorry, I thought things were going to drop on the floor, but... Mmm. Hot. Well, I mean, a little bit, literally hot, but also spicy. Mmm. But, it's also really good. And here is our finished product. We have our fries, which hat, which is, yeah, it looks burned because, like, it got soggy while we had to keep it warm, so we had to, had to fry it again, and then, um... And then I had to fry them again, and then put them back into the um, and back into the oven, which m made them a lot of brown. It doesn't. Well, I mean, I mean they are dark, but I mean they they're still good. It's like a little heated chip chip snack and such. Over here we have celery and blue cheese. We have our macaroni balls, and we all of this is our chicken wings. So if you like this video, share on Facebook, share on Twitter, share on social media, and if you also like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And um, it may, so by the time this is uploaded, it's probably going to be after the Super Bowl. But still, this video might be, might be coming in handy. And um, 
that's just about all I have to say. So follow this recipe, and I hope you like it, everyone. Thanks for watching.